in John 8, verse 31 and 32. Jesus then said, You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You can be strong, and you can be as free as you would like to be. You accept the promise, you will be free. You believe in this freedom. You're not locked into who you were yesterday. You are not locked into your biography or your story up till now. You're a spiritual being and you're created for more. With all the hardships, the problems, the challenges that you've had, you're not locked in. You will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Well, what is the truth? The truth is God is with you and you're not alone. You're not doing it alone. You don't have to be it alone. You're not an, uh, a lonely person on an isolated island. You are surrounded with the help of God. Now, some people give all their attention to the past. They become a victim to the past. They become a victim to their problems. They talk constantly about it. They talk in terms of being limited talk in terms of being bound to some problem. Freedom comes as we place our attention on that which we seek to achieve and know that we can achieve it with God's help. There have been many times that I didn't know how I would do it as Chris, but I knew God could do it. And God could do it with me and through me and Together, we would have victory. When you talk about and when you think about God and God-given strength, you realize a marvelous ability in you to grow, to grow in a spiritual way and in a mental way and in a physical way. Because God empowers all aspects of you. Thinking forward is an ability that God gives you. To think in ways that see new vistas, new hilltops, new opportunities. To see a glimpse of the divine potential in each of us and to go towards that without any limitation whatsoever. Let us place the very thought inside of our minds where it belongs on the strength of God, the strength of God with us, surrounding us, indwelling us. Let us accept the promise you will be free indeed. This is the moment, and right now is the time, to be free from anything that has held us in bondage in our past. We can be as free as we would like to be. And you want to be free. That's why you're watching this right now. Well, God says to you, you can be. It is God's will for you to be. It is my desire that you are free and become more. God bless you.